Learn two. Learn two. Oh, hi there. I'm Tyler, and you're just in time. We were just getting ready to play here at the playground. It's a great day to be outside. The sun is shining, and we're gonna play by going down the slide. We're gonna be swinging on some swings. We're gonna, wait a second. Do you see that? What is that? Come on down, let's take a closer look. Let's see, it looks like a pile of dirt with a red flag sticking out of the top. What do you think that is? It kind of seems like something's buried under there. Should we dig it up and find out? All right, let's see what's in here. Take the flag, put it there. Whoa, I'm starting to see something. You guys see that? Whoa, look at this. But what is it? What do you think it is? Let's see, it's red. It's kind of wavy. Huh, I don't know. But one thing I do know, maybe while we're playing today at the park, we should look for more of these red flags and see if we can figure out what this thing is. I got some ideas. All right, come on, let's go. Learn to, learn to. I learned something new and you can learn to. Learn to, learn to. I learned something new. So I've gathered some tools here that I think will help us as we look for buried treasure while we play today at the park. The first thing I did was I called Chloe and she's back at the studio to help us figure out what we're finding and give us some information about it if we find something cool. So Chloe, can you hear me? Hey Tyler, yeah I can hear you. All right, awesome. We'll check in with you every time we find something, okay? Okay, sounds good. I'm looking at the red wave thing right now. I'll let you know if I find something. All right, cool. The other thing we grab is this blue bucket. This bucket is gonna be the bucket that we put everything we find in to help us carry it as we go. Next, we have this yellow shovel. This shovel will help us dig up all the buried treasure when we find a red flag on this old paintbrush, and we're not gonna use it for painting, but we'll use it to dust off the dirt of each little item that we find. We have our first item here, this red wavy thing, that we're still trying to figure out what it is. And the last tool that we have is our trusty skateboard. This will help us move around the park a lot faster. So before we go looking for the next item, I wanna see if Chloe was able to figure out what this is. So Chloe, can you hear us? What do you think this red wavy thing is? Okay, so far the only thing I found for red and wavy is spaghetti. Are you sure it's not spaghetti? I don't think it looks like spaghetti. I got it. It looks like it's a type of coral. Coral comes in many different shapes and sizes. It almost looks like different types of plants or rocks underwater in the ocean, but coral is actually an animal. They slowly grow and divide into large colonies of organisms called coral reefs. These reefs are among some of the largest living structures in the world, and some of them can even be seen from outer space. There are hundreds of different coral species found in the world, and they eat plankton and small fish. Coral reefs are like a large living underwater forest. 
With the way they form, they provide living space for a whole bunch of other sea creatures. Pretty amazing when you think about it. Oh, coral. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay, cool. Well, what do you say? Let's go and see what we find here at the park. see a red flag. Come on. All right, we found our second one. Let's get our shovel. Oh, I'm starting to see something. Get our paintbrush. Whoa. Look at this guy. Let's see. He's kind of long and orange. He's got two eyeballs and he's got some legs. Chloe, can you tell us what this thing is? That looks like a squid. Squids are invertebrates, meaning they don't have a backbone, and they live in the ocean. They have a tube-like body with fins on it, two big eyes, arms, two tentacles that extend out to help them get food. Squids can change colors, and they are the fastest swimming invertebrate in the ocean. Most squids are small, but there are some types that can grow as long to 40 feet from end to end. That's like the length of a school bus. Squids are known for discharging a black cloud of ink when they feel threatened in order to distract the predator and escape. So there you have it. Squids are pretty neat. Whoa, it's a squid. How cool. That's our second item. Let's see if we can find some more. Come on. some swings. I think we should take a break and go swing on the swings. Come on. Really fun. While I was swinging, I saw this red flag. Hold on, let me get my bucket. just fine. Chloe, do you see this? Yeah, I can see it. I'm gonna look it up right now. Aha, it's an octopus. Just like the squid, octopuses are invertebrates that are found in the ocean. 
Octopuses can squeeze their bodies into tight spaces in order to avoid danger. Octopuses have eight arms called tentacles and their mouth is in the center of their tentacles. They have a beak which they use to crack open crabs and shellfish to get the meat from the inside. The smallest octopuses are only about two inches long while the biggest ones are 18 feet long. That's three Tylers stacked on top of each other. Octopuses are quite smart. Genius. They can learn how to unscrew a jar. So, turns out octopuses are pretty cool animals. It's an octopus. All right. Octopuses have eight tentacles. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tentacles. Wow, that's really cool. That's our third buried treasure that we found. So far we found some coral, we found a squid, and now this octopus. Let's go see what else we can find. Come on. See this? Before we look for more treasure, I think we should go down the slide. Come on, let's go. Did you see that? I went all the way down the slide, and on my way down, I saw this. Whoa, another one. Okay, let me get my bucket. Guys, look it. What do you think it is? Can you see that? It looks like some type of green shell. Turtle! Our fourth sea animal that we found is a turtle. Let's clean him off a little bit. Chloe, I know what this one is. This one's a turtle. Can you tell us some stuff about turtles? I sure can. Turtles are reptiles and one of the neatest things about them is the hard shell they have on their back. This shell protects them from predators that want to eat them. Ah! Turtles can go on land and in the sea, but they like to spend most of their time in the water and have webbed feet called flippers to help them swim. They can be in all different sizes. The smallest turtle only weighs about five ounces and has a shell that's about three inches long. Aw, you little bitty guy. Now the biggest turtles can weigh up to 1,500 pounds. That's as much as a cow. And they can get up to five feet long. Wow, that's huge. Now for my favorite fact, some turtles can live to be over a hundred years old. <gasps> can you believe that? Wow, so cool. I didn't know turtles could live to be that old. That's awesome. Okay, we found so far coral, a squid, octopus, and now, this turtle. Let's see what else we can find. Check it out. This is a really cool bridge. What do you think? Should we go over it? All right, come on. Did you guys see that big playground way up there? There's gotta be some more buried treasure there. All right, let's work our way to it, come on.
I see something. Come on, let's go. Look at another one. You guys see this? He's got a little fin hanging out. Let's see what it is. Oh! It's a dolphin. Chloe, can you see this? Yeah, I can see it. We found a dolphin. Let's clean him off. Chloe, can you tell us something cool about dolphins? Yeah, dolphins are one of my favorites. Dolphins are mammals that can be found in the ocean all over the world. Although they live in the water, they actually breathe air. They do this through a little spout on their back called a blowhole. This allows them to breathe out old air and breathe in fresh air without coming out of the water. They usually swim slowly, but when they want to go fast, they can swim up to 30 miles per hour. Beep, beep. Dolphins have some of the best abilities to communicate with each other out of any other animal in the animal kingdom. They can make all kinds of sounds, including whistles, clicks, squawks, squeaks, moans, barks, groans, and yelps. Dolphins are very intelligent creatures. Pretty smart. They're one of the only animals that can recognize themselves in a mirror. Dolphins are known to be playful and fun, often playing with each other and jumping out of the water. Isn't that neat? Wow, I didn't know dolphins were so smart. That's amazing. All right, so far we found coral, a squid, an octopus, oh yeah, a turtle, and now this dolphin. Let's go see what else we can find. Come on. Some more swings. You know what we have to do. Let's do it. another one. All right, stay right here. I'll go get the bucket. All right, do you see his little fin hanging out? What is this? I don't know. Uh, still don't know. What is this thing? Chloe, we need your help with this one. Can you tell us what this is? Let's see. Oh, it looks like a manta ray. Whoa, these are really cool. These animals are among the largest and smartest in the ocean. Manta rays have large brains and are quite intelligent, just like the dolphins we learned about. Wise guy, eh? They also can get really big. Their wingspan can reach up to 20 feet from end to end on the biggest ones. That's as tall as a two-story house. They can also weigh up to 4,000 pounds. Say what? They seem scary because they're so big, but they're actually harmless to humans. They filter feed on small fish, crustaceans, and plankton. Manta rays never stop moving, not even to sleep. They're always gliding through the ocean to keep water moving over their gills. So that's the manta ray. Pretty amazing animals. It's a manta ray. Okay, that's cool. So, so far we found coral, a squid, octopus, a turtle, a dolphin, and now this manta ray. All right, let's see if we can find some more. We still gotta make it up to that big playground.
to that big playground. I know there's got to be a few more up there. Come on. See what we can find. See a balance beam. Let's try it out. another one. <laughs> His tail sticking out. What do you think it is? All right, let's dig it up and find out. Uh, uh, it's a big one. Uh, ah. It's a whale! Look at him! He's huge! Okay, let's clean him off a little bit. Chloe, can you see this? I think we just found a whale. What can you tell us about whales? Well, to start, whales are the world's biggest animals. They look like big fish, but they're actually warm-blooded mammals that breathe air with their lungs. Just like a dolphin, they have a blowhole on their back that they use to breathe. Some whales can hold their breath up to 90 minutes. Altogether, there are 92 species of whales, and they fall into two categories. Tooth whales, which have teeth and hunt fish, and baleen whales, which have plates in their mouths it's called baleen that they use to filter out the seawater and eat really tiny creatures called krill. A large whale can eat about two tons of these really tiny creatures in one day. That's half the weight of an elephant. The smaller species of whales can be around nine feet long, while the biggest species of whales can be 98 feet long. They can communicate with each other miles away through very loud sounds that sound like this. Whales have a really thick layer of fat called blubber that helps keep them warm. Blue whales are the biggest animal that has ever lived and can weigh over 200,000 pounds. Their tongue weighs as much as an elephant. Can you believe that? Whoa, can you believe how big whales are? That is amazing, isn't it? All right, let's see what else we got. slide, I saw this. Another one. Okay, let me grab my bucket. I'll be right back. All right, I can see a little bit of his tail and what looks like a fin sticking up. What do you guys think this one is? Oh man. It's a shark! Chloe, we found a shark! What can you tell us about sharks? Sharks are fascinating ocean creatures. They have been around a really long time, and there are over 500 different types. 
They can range in size from about six inches long to 40 feet long. Sharks are known for having good eyesight. Hammerhead sharks can see 360 degrees around their body. Sharks also have really good noses. They can smell a drop of blood in the ocean a quarter mile away. Sharks have multiple rows of teeth and are constantly replacing old teeth that have fallen out. Some sharks may lose more than 30,000 teeth in their lifetime. Sharks are amazing and powerful creatures. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Sharks are pretty cool, huh? All right. Let's see what else we can find. Guys, look at it. Do you see this? It almost looks like an arrow pointing to something. Huh. I wonder what it's pointing to. Do you see anything? I don't see anything. Hmm. Do you think it's just pointing to the playground? Oh! It's pointing to a penguin! Hey, little buddy! Ugh. Chloe! We found a penguin! He's cute! Look at him! Can you tell us some information about penguins? Sure thing. Penguins are birds that spend about half of their life on land and the other half in the water. Most of the penguins in the world are found in the southern hemisphere where it's quite cold. Although penguins are birds, they actually can't fly. Their wings are actually flippers to help them swim in the water. You can tell penguins by their signature look. They are black and white, and their colors almost make it look like they're wearing a tuxedo. Uh -huh. They like to jump in the air, dive into the water, and they can dive up to 800 feet underwater. They eat fish, squid, and krill, and are quite social animals. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Wow, penguins are so unique. Wow, that is so cool. I can't believe penguins like the cold so much. Okay. I think we have one more piece of buried treasure to find. Let's see if we can find it. Come on. his tail, but it doesn't look like a fin. Whoa! What is this guy? Chloe, I think we need your help on this one. He doesn't look like the other sea creatures that we found. That's because he's a seal. Seals are marine mammals, so they breathe air. But they can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes and dive 1,600 feet underwater. Seals have two pairs of flippers, a pair in front and a pair in the back. They use these to move around underwater and they use these to move about on land. Seals can come in different shapes and sizes and the largest seal weighs more than four tons. That's huge! Whoa! Seals are very curious and intelligent animals and they can even learn tricks. Ta -da. Seals make many different sounds to communicate and they sound like this. <laughs> Seals can also sleep underwater and live up to 35 years in the wild. Wow, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Look at that, we found a seal. Good job, okay. We're gonna put them in our bucket and then go count all the sea animals that we found today. Let's go. All right, 
We got our bucket. Let's see what we found today. The first thing we found was a coral. The second thing we found was this orange squid. The third thing we found was our octopus. Next, we found a sea turtle. Then, we found a dolphin. After that, we found a manta ray. Next, we found this whale. Then we found a shark. Then we found the penguin. Remember him? And last, we found this seal. So, let's count all the items we found and see how many there were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sea animals that we found today. Well, good job. Thank you for all your help. That was a lot of fun playing at the playground. And if you love sea animals, I'd love to know which one is your favorite. You can email with the Grown Ups Help Learn to Kids at gmail.com. Well, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Learn to, learn to. I learned something new and you can learn to. Learn to, learn to. I learned something new. Just in time, Tyler here, and we are about to play in this really big sandbox. This thing is huge, and we're gonna have a ton of fun playing in here today. All right, come on, let's check out the sand. Oh, wow, do you see this? What is this? It looks like an envelope. It's made out to us. I think we can open it. You think we should open it? Okay, let's see what's inside. Whoa! Look at this. Do you know what this is? Let's see, it says M A P. That spells map. I think this is a map. Oh, wow. What's that in the corner? Let's say it on the count of three together. One, two, three. Dinosaur! You know what? This looks like a map of this very sandbox. I bet you this is a map of dinosaurs. Maybe we should use this to see if we can dig up some dinosaurs today. Hmm, all right. You go grab some supplies. I'm gonna go grab some supplies and we'll meet back here in a minute because today we're gonna learn how to read a map and we're gonna learn about dinosaurs and you can learn too. Learn to, learn to. I learned something new and you can learn to. Learn to, learn to. I learned something new. couple supplies that I think will help us on our mission today. Now these aren't just toys, these are tools that we're going to use to dig up dinosaurs and try to identify them. So the first thing we have is this green bucket. 
all the dinosaurs we find, we can put them in here. Next, I have two shovels. The first one is an orange shovel, and the second one is this yellow shovel. We'll use these to do all the digging. Next, we have our paintbrush. This will help us brush off the dirt from the dinosaurs if they're a little dirty. And lastly, our trusty map. This is gonna tell us the locations of the dinosaurs, and so we're gonna follow this the whole time. Now, I've called in a couple experts to help us. We have Chloe back at the lab, and she's an expert at looking things up, and she's gonna help us identify dinosaurs today. So everybody say hi to Chloe. Hi, Chloe. And this is Benny. He is our counting expert. Do you know how to count? Yes. Okay, awesome. And you get to use one of these shovels, Benny. Do you want the orange one or the yellow one? I'm orange. The orange one. All right, cool. Let's go take a look at the map. All right, this is our map. So we wanna get to all these red X's because I think that's where the dinosaurs are buried. Now these little shoe prints tell us how many steps it's gonna to take to get there. And this compass tells us what direction we need to go. Up is this way, down is this way, right is this way, and left is this way. Now we are starting right here, and the first thing we need to do is take five steps to the left to get to our first X. Bennett, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come here, buddy. Look, do you see the X? I think a dinosaur is buried under there. Why don't you take your orange shovel? Let's see what we can find. Do you see anything? Oh, whoa, what is that? What's that? Hold it up so we can see it. We found some dinosaurs. Yeah, let's clean them off. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this one is? Yeah. What is it? It's a ceratops. A triceratops, very good. Yeah. Chloe, can you tell us some information about triceratops? I sure can, but first I want to give a big shout out to Tyler and Miwa from Puerto Rico. Everybody say hi Tyler and Miwa. Okay, now back to the triceratops. The triceratops gets its name from the three horns on its head. Let's count them. One, two, three. These dinosaurs were really big. They were 30 feet long, and their heads were as tall as you, Tyler. Even though they were so big, they were herbivores, meaning they only ate plants. Can you believe that? Awesome, thank you, Chloe, for that information. Okay, let's take a look at our map. We're right here now, and we need to get right here. It looks like we need to go seven steps up. So, let's put our dinosaurs in the bucket, Bennett, do you want to hold the bucket? Yeah. Okay, we got to take seven steps. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I see the next one. Do you see this red X? Here, come over here. Come over here and grab your shovel. All right. I think we should start digging right there. Let's see what we can find. Oh, what do you see? Whoa, what is that? Let's see, this is an orange dinosaur. It's got some spikes on the back. Hmm, I wonder what kind of dinosaur this is. These ones look like the little babies. I think the mama was hiding out in the trees. Yeah. Chloe, can you tell us what this is? Hmm, let's see what I can find. Aha, it looks like a stegosaurus. Just like the triceratops, the stegosaurus was an herbivore, so they only ate plants. And those things on their back, they're called plates. And they also have space in their tails to protect them from predators. How would you like to have one of these for a pet? Huh? 
Oh, a stegosaurus. Awesome. Cool. Good find, Benny. Let's put these in the bucket and let's take a look at our map. So we're right here and we need to go all the way to right here. That's 10 steps. Do you think we can count to 10? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we found the red X. Here, why don't you take your shovel and I'll take mine and let's see what we can find. Whoa, I think I see a foot over here. Do you see that? He's got a toe that's kind of sticking up. Whoa! What did you just find? Uh, a T-Rex. Well? Oh, no. Look at this rock now. I don't know what this one is. There's a couple of them. Chloe! Can you tell us what this is? That looks like a velociraptor. And now for this, we're going to have a fact from our little dino expert, Adeline from Norfolk, Virginia. Go ahead, Addy. Hi, my name is Adeline. My favorite dinosaur is a velociraptor. Velociraptors are very smart, can run very fast, and have very sharp claws. Great job, and thank you for that, Addy. Velociraptors are bipedal, which means they walk around on two feet. They have long tails, and you can easily identify them from the claw that sticks up on their hind feet. In the movies, they always show velociraptors as really big, but they were actually only the size of a turkey. <laughs> velociraptors are carnivores, which means they only eat meat. Aren't velociraptors awesome? Oh, a velociraptor. Okay, that's a pretty cool dinosaur. All right, we are right here and we need to get to the big X right here. And it looks like we have to do four hops to get there. Bennett, are you ready to do four hops? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think this is the big X. Look at it. It's this huge mound. Can we use our stones? I don't know. I think we're going to need to use an excavator on this one. All right. Let's dig. Oh, whoa, what do we see? Ah. Look it. Okay. It's the big one. This is the T-Rex. Chloe, what can you tell us about T-Rexes? Yes, the T-Rex is one of my favorites. The T-Rex was a really big bipedal carnivore. That means they walked around on two legs and ate meat. From head to tail, these dinosaurs could get up to 40 feet long. That's about the size of a telephone pole. Also, the T in T-Rex stands for Tyrannosaurus. Do you want to try to say that with me? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Great job. All right, looks like there's only one more X to go. We're right here and we need to do two hops and three big steps to get to the final X. Let's go. One, two, one, two, three. Um, okay, it's gotta be close. There's supposed to be an X around here. What is that? Look up. I don't think it's up there. Oh! It's right here, on this bucket. Whoa! 
It looks like there's some dinosaur eggs in this bucket. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dinosaur eggs. Wow, look at these. Well, maybe for the last X, we're supposed to hatch these. What do you think? Should we go hatch them? All right, let's go. Hatching these dino eggs took a really long time. Way longer than we thought it would take. The whole first day, we didn't even see a crack in one of the eggs. We had to keep adding ice to the water because these dinosaur eggs needed it to be really cold in order to hatch. But by day two, we started to see some cracks forming in the eggs and we could see a little bit of a dinosaur that was starting to pop through. By the beginning of day three, we had one dinosaur that had his head fully popped out. And the other ones were starting to come out too. It still looked like we needed a little bit longer. So we kept them in there for one more day. And by day four, we could see our dinos. They were coming out of the eggs. They were finally hatched. We had some yellow ones and green ones and we were so excited to see what dinosaurs hatch out of these eggs. What dinosaurs do you think they are? Well, let's go outside and see if we can figure it out together. Come on. All right, our dinosaurs have been hatching for a really long time. Yeah. And I think they're fully hatched now. Should we go see? Yeah. All right, let's check it out. Here's all of our dinosaurs that have been hatching from their eggs. Wow, looks like there's six of them. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got. Benny, do you want to pick the first one? What color Whoa. is this? Whoa, what color is this? It, what color is that? I think that looks like the color... Yellow! Very good. Now this dinosaur is a Parasaurolophus. Can you say Parasaurolophus? <laughs> good job. And you can tell because he has this crest on the back of his head. All right, so let's put him right here. All right, you wanna grab the next one? What is this one? We'll put it right there. This one is a Triceratops. What color is it? Yeah, he is, what color, right here? Yellow. Yellow, and what color right here? Red. Red, yes. Triceratops can go right there. Yellow. Oh. All right, Benny, are you ready to pick another one? It's <laughs> All right, it's another Parasaurolophus. And what color is he? Color yeah, he? he's yellow. He's yellow. Yep, just like his buddy right there. Okay, you want to pick another one? Yes. All right. What is this one? Whoa, this one is called a Stegosaurus. These are eight. You can tell because he's got these plates on his back. Now, what color is this Stegosaurus? Green. Yeah, he's green. All right. He's green. Put him right there. Well, what is this one? Ooh, you it's found another, another Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus, almost. Stegosaurus. Good try. And again, he's got these plates on his back. And what color is he? Green. Green. We'll put him right here. Just like his little buddy. Just like his little buddy. The biggest one for last. Is oh man! Uh, Which one is this? It's a T Rex! It's a T -rex. Oh. <laughs> what sound does a T Rex make? Roar! Roar. Yeah, T Rex can roar really loud. And they had really big back legs and then really 
tiny arms up here, just like that. Now, what color is this T-Rex? Yellow, very good. All right, we're gonna put him right here. And now we're gonna count all the dinosaurs that we hatched. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. All right, so there's only one thing left to do, and that is to play. Why don't you go grab some of your toy dinosaurs and let's play. did we learn about dinosaurs today? Hmm, let's see. Oh, we learned that the Triceratops has how many horns? Yeah, that's right. The Triceratops has three horns on its head. And what else did we learn? Oh, what are those things called on the back of the Stegosaurus? Do you remember? They were called plates, yeah. Yeah, there are plates on the back of the Stegosaurus. Hmm. Oh, we learned that the T-Rex has really tiny hands and a really big roar. Rawr. Let's see. We learned that dino eggs take a really long time to hatch and they need a lot of cold water. And... Ooh, we learned about the Paracerellophus, that it has a crest on the back of his head. Hmm. Oh, and Velociraptors. Are they big or are they small? Yeah, they're actually pretty small. They're only about the size of a turkey. Hmm. Oh, and we can't forget, we learned how to read a map. Yeah. We were counting our steps and going up and down and left and right, and it was leading us to the red X's where we could dig up the dinosaurs. Yeah. And we also learned that you can have a ton of fun and learn at the same time. What a great day this was. watching this learn to video. If you want to watch more of our videos, just search learn to on YouTube or check us out at learn to kids.com. All right, we're going to go play some music. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Hey, do you hear that? <gasps> it's a dinosaur.